I counted this up right out of the media guy. Uh, 234 snaps. You haven't had a bad one, have you? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to admit any of that, but yeah, I mean, good enough to get the ball through the uprights for sure. Well, I guess, well, what's the key to that kind of consistency? And I mean, it's going to sound pretty cliche, but it just reps over and over and over again. Um, when things aren't working um, in the games, I like to get back to the basics. So if I'm not having snaps that I want, um, I just like to think about what's working and just get it done. I mean, for both you guys, I know, uh, De Devin, you, you, you hold, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys work with the kickers. I don't expect y'all to say who you think is going to start, but just what, no. what, if you want to, that'd be great. But what, 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 what's your take on the competition of how those guys are doing? Maybe you could both, both hit on that uh, well, they're both great kickers um, with three great kickers. Everyone's competing really well. And um, it's really hard to tell who's going to win the job. Anyone could. Um, they all have great mindsets. They all got really strong legs and they're charting pretty similarly. So it's really hard to tell, but it's really good, healthy competition. Um, they're all friends too. So that's good. All get along. So just competing really hard and they're all kicking well. So. Yeah. yeah, um, they're both great kickers. They've been making a lot of kicks recently. And um, I mean, all of us have to earn our jobs every year. So they're just competing and um, looking pretty good so far. Uh, Devin, you kicked off at Northern Colorado too, right? Yes, sir. Are you trying to do that at all here? Just focus on punting? Yeah, I mean, I'll try. I'm trying to help wherever I can. Um, I still got to win that job. Um, did well in spring ball kicking off. So if I can do it here and there's an opportunity I'd love to. So is that difficult after, you know, playing and, you know, obviously being a contributor at Northern Colorado and then just kind of sitting last year? Yeah, it was hard. Um, it was also a really good learning experience. Um, I got to compete with Max, who was a great punter and one of my really good friends. And we competed hard and uh, we, we learned from each other and I learned a lot from him. And it was really awesome to sit back and, you know, take in the whole environment and learn from it. And, it's very different going from Northern Colorado to here. So I think there's positives to both, um, but it's, I redshirted last year. So I think it, it's all working out. So, I mean, I took a lot from it and very happy with it. So. It's like a very neck and neck battle in the spring between you two guys. And now it's just you. Is it, is yeah. it weird not having that guy push you? And I know you got Sam and stuff, but like, is it weird not having Max who was a starter ahead of you? You know, kind of a guy that maybe your yeah. friend, but maybe also mm -hmm. a guy that you put a target on. For sure. It was a, uh, yeah, it was a little surprise and um, definitely, definitely a little different, but I learned a lot from him and I've taken that and, you know, I've just been waiting for my chance. So I'm, I'm really excited to get it rolling and still got to earn that job and, and, and beat Sam and, it's there's a lot of good things from Max Lieben and I'm I mean I, I miss him and I hope he's doing the well well and all that but uh it gives me an opportunity so I'm very blessed and a lot of good things come from it for me as well so you know what are some of those maybe the specifics that you know you learned or how did you improve the most during your redshirt season repping um it's a different style of punting we do offset so I didn't ever offset punt when I was at Northern Colorado and it's definitely different. Um, and just taking in the environment, you know, feeling the crowd, feeling the noise and it's just different, different level of ball. So really just taking in like the noise and the fans and all that, and just getting to see it live, um, just mentally prepare as well. So kind of that stuff. And Eli, you go from, you know, having, Cam and Max kind of in the special teams units and now you're kind of the the older the guy that's been in the program the most the longest uh, just what's that like have you tried to take on a, a a leadership role maybe with the with the rest of the special teams guys um yeah it definitely was weird uh when Max left it was a strange realization that I was the last person left from the room I came into as a freshman but um yeah I mean that was kind of a thing that a lot of younger guys kind of leading them through the process and uh helping them out so I'd love to do that as much as I can yeah, uh, Devin, I guess Sam Pim was in here the other day talking about uh, you going on scholarship. How how big a deal was that? Mm -hmm. What was your thoughts on that? Uh, it's, it's just a blessing. Um, I've been working for it since for three years, since freshman year, and um, just time's paying off and just very, very happy and very blessed and couldn't be more thankful for Coach Fallon and Coach Pitt for them to give me the opportunity. And 
it's just it's just it's just unbelievable. It's a great feeling. Great feeling. Have you on scholarship at Northern Colorado? Uh it's true true walk on or no preferred walk on, sorry. Okay. Wait, well, it looks like you, they should have on scholarship. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And then what what, 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 what led to you decide to transfer? I, I I know Arkansas obviously got more going on than Northern Colorado does, but um just, uh, what what led to that decision where there's some other places, that bigger schools you looked at? Um well our head coach got fired after my sophomore year and I always had dreams to play in the SEC and I'd never didn't know if I was gonna make it there or whatnot, and I just kind of just had dreams and aspirations to go to a bigger school. And then after my head coach got fired, I just knew it was time and I took my chances. And then I was talking to San Diego State, I was talking to Arkansas, a few other schools. And then Coach Fallon, he wanted me to come out and visit and I came out and visited and I just fell in love with it here and I love it, so. Devin, I know when we find out about guys entering the transfer portal, it's like through social media and stuff. I'm curious, how did you find out that Max was leaving? Did he let you know? And what was your reaction to it? Like, was it, you know, sad to see him go? And then, but also thinking about, hey, yeah. this could be a good thing for me. Um, yeah, well, we we all kind of find found out the the day of. He was just kind of quiet about it, and you know, he had he had his own own thing going on, and I don't blame him. You know, it's it's a hard decision, so. Um, I don't know. It was, it was a, it was, it was during the school year, uh, when it happened. And then it was just, uh, I, I don't, I can't really, re it's hard to remember kind of now thinking about it, but, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for him. And of course I'm sad to see him go and he's a really good friend of mine and really good competition. And, yeah, so I mean, I, I'm hoping the best for him, and I'm excited for him at Cincinnati with his brother. So, yeah. how soon after did that happen that you did Coach Pittman call you into his office to to give you the scholarship? And when he did, did you know that that was what he was wanting to talk to you about? I was uh, I was in class actually when uh, they called me, and then I came in right after class about an hour after, and then Coach just sat me down and just bro broke me the news and called my parents and let me know, and it was just it was a great feeling. Eli, I'm curious. Maybe it's weird when you're sitting next to each other. What, what, what's your take on Devin as a punter? Oh, I mean, he's a great punter. I always knew. I mean, in the spring and last year, um, it was just knowing that we had plenty of guys that could go out there and play, like Devin, you know. Um, luckily, he stuck around, you know, I mean, got his opportunity. Um, but, yeah, I mean, great great competitors, both of them. We've always had a great specialist room. So I just, uh, just want to make sure I got this right. So it was – it was last spring, and Sam told you you'd be going on the scholarship when this school year came around. Yeah, it was last spring, end of the end of school year, and then um, right. Yeah, it was right after. Right, it was like yeah, day day when Max left, and then he brought me in and let me know. And then, so I guess you go on starting the summer. How does that work? I don't even know. Yeah, and then yeah, just start over summer, and then go from there, pretty much. That was a great job. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Well